Hello everyone! Can you believe it's October already? I'm super excited for October. It's a very special month for me for two reasons. Number one, today is me and my boyfriend's anniversary. Three years ago today we finally became boyfriend and girlfriend. And on the 15th it's our son's first birthday which of course was the best day of my life so two amazing things happened to me in october so i can't help but love it but getting back to september it's time to show you my beauty favorites of the month i have a lot of skincare in store for you today so i hope you like that stuff and we'll begin with a hand cream i've been loving all month it's from mitchell and peach it's the luxury hand cream and it's pretty amazing i got this in the london edition glossy box and i've been using it all the time since it smells pretty good it's very natural so it kind of has a little bit of that lush smell but not that strong it's not bothering me at all really it just makes my hands super soft it really helps with my cuticles and everything and it's quite expensive, so I've, I've tried to not use it as much every day, but I use it a few times every day, and it's really been a favorite of mine. Moving on to another item from that London Glossy Box, it's the Betty Hula Rum and Black Currant Shea Butter Body Moisturizing Cream. This smells so good. It's made with a uh, Coke cocoa butter and coconut oil so it really smells like coconuts and I love the smell of coconuts this is super moisturizing uh, I haven't used it that, that much because I'm saving it for spring coconut to me is really a summer scent but it's very moisturizing even on my very dry skin and as I said smell is amazing and it really lingers it's quite thick so you have to really work when you're applying it uh, or it can give you little white streaks consistency wise it reminds me of the Kiehl's Imperial Balm which is really nice but I think this is actually better than that one so I can't wait to use this again come summer and spring another body lotion that I've really been loving I've been using this just about every day this is the Aderma Exomega Exomega emollient cream it's for both face and body but I've only been using it on my body uh, there are there are several different ones this is the cream it's for for dry to very dry skin they also have a balm for like super dry skin uh, and I don't know I think they have more but this is the only one I've used uh, I, I use this on my son as well this is the only cream that helps uh, with his eczema on his face I've been using it on him for maybe six months and I really love it and I love it on myself as well it contains oatmeal so it's very soothing and it's super moisturizing really really loving it it's a bit expensive but it was on offer uh, so I got it and I love it and I don't know how I'm gonna live without it because it might just be my favorite body lotion Ever. So I really rec recommend this even for those that have super super sensitive skin you find that this is Very helpful for you as well This next product is a deodorant from La Roche Posay. It's the 24-hour physiological deodorant. It's aluminium alcohol and paraben free and I really wanted to try out some a, a more natural deodorant because you don't really need all that alcohol and aluminium stuff on your skin so when I found this I thought no way this is gonna help me to be honest I do sweat quite a bit I have ever since the day I got pregnant and I'm still sweating probably because I'm still breastfeeding hopefully it will go away anyway TMI 
this has really been helping me I have to be honest I do reapply this if I'm going to work or something in the evening I reapply uh, so one coat is not enough but I'm still very satisfied it helps with odor and with sweating and I really love it and I think I'll get this the next time as well so moving on to makeup next product is this Dior Dior Skin Nude let me just says compact it came out this year I think it's a powder foundation this is a color 10 it's the very lightest one I've been using this for a few weeks now and I gotta say I'm really happy with it it looks very natural I'm happy that they have such a light shade because I often have problems finding foundations and powders and stuff that are light enough for me and just looks super natural and I've been applying it with this Chanel Kabuki brush that came out with the Le Beige powders this summer super dense and these together just give me really natural beauty glowing beautiful glowing skin this is super dense so it gives pretty good coverage more than a regular brush but less than using a sponge so these two are gold together in my book so the last product I've been loving is this new mascara from L'Oreal it's called Miss Manga it's a mega volume mascara and I don't usually usually like drugstore mascaras but I just fell in love with the commercial and you know I love Asian makeup and products so I just had to try this out and to be honest I'm really happy with it it's I usually go for the luxury mascaras of course this isn't quite as good but for the price I think you get a lot of value for your money it does give mega volume it doesn't clump together it looks super good I've been using this a lot actually and I really like it it doesn't there's no fallout or anything like I often experience with drugstore mascaras the only problem I have with this is the brush it's not a big problem but as you can see it's bendy I don't know why they thought this was a good idea it just makes application a little bit harder uh, other than that I think the brush is really good it really helps with separation and I've been loving this as I said big hit in my book so now that I've shown you my beauty favorites I thought I'd tell you about a few other favorites this month and they are two TV shows I have to be honest I watch a lot of TV and this month I've been really into watching Modern Family I've, I'm re-watching it again with my boyfriend because he hasn't seen all the episodes before and second I've been watching Breaking Bad I know I should have gotten into that years ago but I didn't and I've been watching it non-stop in the day when Eddie is taking his nap and I'm all alone that's when I watch my Breaking Bad and I know it just finished like two days ago but I haven't seen the final season so no spoilers please so that's it for my monthly favorites of September 2003 I really hope you like watching this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and remember if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe to my channel Thank you for watching and have a great October everyone!